Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be telling you how to create an Amazon Marketing Services headline search ad to sell your books. And uh, this is a very useful thing to do on Amazon because basically it will put your book in the top of the search results when people search for a certain term. And this is an example right here. This is Amazon.com. I searched for GMAT. And at the very top of the page is this headline ad, sponsored by Wiley, GMAT 2018 Official Study Guides. And if I clicked on this, it would take me to the page uh, for that particular book. And if you uh, scroll down, you'll see that there's actually some other types of ads that are different. This is a sponsored product ad. And then here are the organic search results. Uh, and this is, that is, there's lots of them. There's probably hundreds of books but the issue is, is that if you want to get to the top of the list, being here is a lot better than being just, you know, on page five of the organic search results. So here's how to create the, the ad. Go to Amazon Marketing Services. And two things that are important here. First of all, you need to set up an account. And you need to set up an account based on your Amazon Advantage or Amazon Publisher account. The KDP, the Kindle Direct Publishing, uh, you cannot use this type of ad, a headline search ad. So you need to have uh, this other, another type of Amazon account that publishers usually have in order to see this option. I have an Amazon Advantage account, so I can, I can do this. Go to the dashboard of ams.amazon.com once you've registered. Click on New Campaign. You'll see a bunch of different choices. You want the one that's headline search. Just hover over it and click. Okay. Add a landing page. So some people already have their own landing page. Um, it's basically publishers can create a landing page showing all their books. The problem with those these types of pages is that usually it shows all of your books and not just specific ones about a specific topic. So I like to, to uh, basically choose the option where you can create a create a special page with three or more of your products. Um, so the book that I'm promoting is our new book, PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes. There's two options here. Search for it in my own brand or search for it on Amazon. Search for it on Amazon. You'll get more results. Okay, so I'm going to add that. However, I have to select at least three products. What's, but if you look over here, there's actually only one. So what should I do? Well, there's actually several versions of this product. Many people will, will have three versions, paperback, hardcover, and Kindle. So you can start to add things like search for Kindle. PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes Kindle on Amazon. Here it is. So I can add that. Now, I don't have a hardcover edition, but what I do have is I have another title that's related to um, PowerPoint. It's Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word in 30 minutes. So I'm going to add that one. So now I have this kind of little landing page with these three books on it, which is great. Campaign name. I'm going to call it PowerPoint uh, Headline. And then just leave the date there that I started it. Budget. This is, means the maximum you will spend per day. I always do $5. You can do, I think, as low as one and as, as much as you want. Be careful with this, though, because if a lot of people are clicking on your ads, you might find yourself spending a lot of money. Because, as you know, $5 per day over the course, course of a month, that's $150 per month. Uh, that's probably around, what is it, $1,300 or something per year. So it can really start to add up. And if it's not returning that much profit, you'll actually find you're, you're losing money on these campaigns rather than earning money. If you want to, you can select a date range so it shuts off like in a month or something or at the end of the month. But I actually like to run it continuously because I monitor these things pretty closely. All right. Next step is keywords. So Amazon helpfully gives you keywords to use 
however, these keywords aren't nearly enough for me to run a, a successful campaign. Like, where's PowerPoint? Where are some other terms that people might use, such as slide deck or presentation? They're not here. So what you have to do is add your own keywords. And what I, I always do before I even go to ams.amazon.com is create a list. The list contains some default marketing copy as well as some keywords, actually quite a few keywords. So what I'm going to do is just copy all these keywords that I think would be helpful to people searching for a PowerPoint book, including the titles of competing books. You can do that, but also keep in mind that competitors can do it to you too. Okay, match, broad. Uh, this, is the, this is the default, and I recommend doing it. If you choose exact, that means somebody has to use the exact same title in order to see the advertisement, like PowerPoint for iOS. So if someone types in PowerPoint for iOS 11.1, it won't show up because I've told it only exact matches. You want, so you want um, broad. CPC bid, this means the cost per click, the maximum. So every time someone clicks on, like let's say I, I, someone searches for PowerPoint for iOS, my headline ad shows up at the top of Amazon results and they click that ad, uh, conceivably they could pay as much as 50 cents per click. That's a lot. And you have to keep in mind, you know, you have to balance what you're getting in clicks um, with actually how much you're earning from selling the books. So for instance, if 10 people click on the ad at 50 cents, that costs me five dollars but if only one person is buying the book after clicking and the profit is less than five dollars per copy that means I'm losing money on this particular campaign so you might want to start lower 24 cents is usually what I do some people set it as low as 11 cents the problem with this though of course is that um, you know at, at lower levels there's more competition so your ad won't show up as much um, especially if it's just like 10 cents per click. Okay, so what it's done is it's um, put in all of these terms, stage fright, present a paper, present on stage. It actually shows me which ones are low traffic, which ones are media, medium traffic. And this is, can be a guide for you to adjust it. So if it says public speaking, medium traffic, well, I might want to increase that to 34 cents per click. All right, that's the idea there. Sometimes it will show you like your win rate. So you can slide this up. But, you know, if I slide it up to 25 to 50%, then it's 275 per click. No way. In fact, I'm going to reset that back down to 24 cents per click. Thank you. Just not worth it. Okay. Brand name. It uses the default that's associated with your account. So I actually like to make it caps and put a space in between headline so this is a catchy headline to get people to click on the ad your headline here I already have some headlines prepared actually let's take a look um, take your PowerPoint skills to the next level that's an easy one um, create attractive documents for work school or home use how to make effective PowerPoint presentations actually let's do that how to whoops how to make effective paste that in whoops I want to make that capital P characters remaining four so I have just enough space to put it in there featured image so you can use your logo but you can also choose something else and upload an image and actually I have some stock photography that I can use so let's find that I think it's in production mode. Oops, not letting me do that. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just go. Oh, stock photos license. No, nope, not letting me do that either. Okay. Let's leave that alone. Um, anyways, I'm just going to go with my logo. That's fine. Or I can actually, you know what I can do? I can just create, use the book itself. So. it 
So I'm looking for the cover photo for the book. I think it's in here. Uh, should be in here. Yeah, here we go. So why don't I do the do the cover? Good to me. All right, here's my ad. Have the uh, 3D cover, how to make effective PowerPoint presentations, and then direct links to these three books. Click Submit Campaign for Review. It will take a few days, but hopefully you'll get a positive answer, and then you'll be looking good when the ad starts running on Amazon. And of course, I highly recommend you monitor carefully how the advertisement is doing. Uh, you can do that by going to Advertising Campaign Manager. And then you can use this data here to make decisions about whether or not this is worth it to you. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon Marketing Services or other topics related to technology, go to in30minutes.com. I have a bunch of YouTube videos related to AMS. Just scroll to the bottom of the page, click on the YouTube link, and you'll be good to go. Thanks so much for watching.